Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. Today we have the Mini Paragon, loaned in from Ken Faulkner. We're going to talk about that. We'll have a couple other videos that we'll record today. We might not upload them all today. But we have some loaners in. Uh, the Mini Paragon is a Kaiser knife, but it's designed by RS Knives. Or RK Knives? RS, ain't it? RS, RS yeah. Knives, yeah. RS. And, Ron, yeah, man. Ron something. Okay, okay. Gorgeous knife, man. I love it. I love it. Like it feels really good in hand. Let's uh go to the tabletop and we'll check some size comparisons and some measurements out. Okay. So uh the mini paragon by Kaiser. It's uh released last year, I believe, in twenty twenty two. I love the I, I I like the knife all the way around. Uh but you know, I, I love the blade shape. You know, it's just kinda I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be the most utilitarian knife you'll ever run into or the most useful blade shape or the best blade shape for this task or that task. But it's different in the way that, like, the Praetorian's different. In fact, it gives me a Praetorian vibe. The first time I saw it, I think I sent a message to Dave, and I was like, <clears throat> is this like a metaphor to you? You know, <laughs> but uh, after researching the, the designer... The designer's got a lot of unique designs and it goes right along with his style, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, I, I no longer, I'm, I, I, I would assume that Medford is probably an inspiration to him, much like uh, Greta Van Fleet takes inspiration from Led Zeppelin. You know, like no differently than that. But uh, it's not a direct Medford copy. No. But it's Medford esque, you know. But you, I mean, like you just get that everywhere. Yeah. Um, it's a large knife, but it's not like incredibly large. No, I, as big as it looks like it is, it's still pretty comfortable for me to hold. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's about eight and a half inches, mm -hmm. and that's from like the tip of this uh, my card, a backspacer to well, it's I guess it's a little over eight and a half inches. Yeah, a little. I mean, like. Not quite eight and three quarter, maybe like eight and five eight, something like that. Um, anyway, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, eight, eight point six five is what the specs say. Okay, so I'll buy it and line those up a little bit. Adjust the angle <laughs> a little bit. Got some bigger knives. Got to yeah. have more more frame size there. Yeah, but I mean, so it's you know it's uh it's it's not really in that that four max territory to me, you know. But man, that micarta is like god mode. Oh yeah, they did a really really good job on that micarta. Some of the best micarta I've I've ever felt. You know, like maybe like Alan's uh, SE three, uh, his his Rat three. Yeah, you know, like uh, was was pretty close to this uh, the same type of feel. Uh, the 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 knife's got excellent action. I'm not a, I'm not the best with the reverse flip with it. Like I'm I'm wanting to push it against the pivot. You know, it's not it's not working so much. So uh, like I've I've got to readjust a little bit. But other than that, man, it's got nice drop action. So 154 cm. Mm-hmm. And, and this is another one of those that, that's kind of surprising to me on the color that they call this. Okay. They call this green. Yeah. Green micarta. To me, that's more of like the coyote tan type uh, type color again. It doesn't look green at all to me. <laughs> Not at all. Not to me either. I mean, like, uh, I guess you guys can be the judge of that ultimately, but that's, to me, like even the, like the blue ring... That they put around it. You take that blue ring away, it's, you know, and it still looks tan or khaki to me. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it doesn't it doesn't look green to me at all either. But that's what it's listed as. If you got to look for one that looks like this, it would be the green Magarda one. Did they make them in any other type of colors? They pieces? did. Um, there's a black. B okay. Black blade with. Let's see what color they call that. I call it black Magarda, but okay, they call it, call yeah. it black Magarda. <laughs> 
there's a couple of interesting things about this knife that I don't quite understand. Uh, just looking at um, RS Knives uh, styles. That's the little symbol for his, you know, like the RS Knives, by the okay. way. But um, looking at the styles, it just, it looks like he does a lot of things simply for aesthetics. But one thing I don't understand at all is this jimping, uh, behind, you know, like behind the flipper tab. Like once the knife is open, that's just there. And, you know, like that's not going to be useful for anything, is it? I think it's more of an aesthetic, just the way it looks. Yeah. Because you, you don't get that on anything else. Like it's, you can look at just about any other folder and they're just kind of flat up there at the end. And I know like jipping's pointless there, but it, it looks different than other stuff. Right. It is milled out for weight reduction. It's got a good size uh, liner. It's probably a steel liner. I don't have a mag. Yeah, I do. I got, <laughs> magnet. I got magnets in here. One handy dandy magnets. No, the blade of be steel. Yeah. The liners are steel and they're weight relieved on both sides. Used to, I was able to get those holes and cutouts. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, but both Pretty sides. Thick. Like these are thicker than normal, too. I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, this is part of the issue of not being able to get the camera view in there. That's okay. Yeah. I uh, like. Like part of my, well, you know, the, the, that, that liner reminds me of that Viper Hinder that we had when I was like, it reminds me more of a frame lock, you know, but yeah. you know, the, the liners are just, uh, they're, they're thick. But I do, I do very much like this knife, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and I probably will look for one on the secondary, but I'm not in a hurry. And, and like the reason why is because there's some nicer knives. I've got, I've got a short list of some nicer knives that I'm wanting to like uh, add to the collection. And buying a bunch of little, um, or not little, but buying budget models in between is just going to, you know, like delay those, those knives from getting in the collection. Another thing, I kind of like the jimping here, but like, it, does that have a purpose or is it just this that it takes? That's speed. Speed? Yeah. Like if you're stabbing it through the air, it'll help it go faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I don't know. I I'm, think it just kind of. Goes along with this is what I was thinking. But. Yeah, I, I would assume that you're right. Um, I was gonna say maybe you know like you can't catch it with a nail or anything to to flip it. But what, one thing that I definitely want to bring up is is that it has like three different grinds going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the grind in the center, that's in the recurve, recurve. but some grind behind the recurve, it's gonna be thicker behind the edge. And then you got the tip that's rope, like it's it's a time yeah it's like a it's like a drop point tanto recurve that the 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 tanto tip is is very you know it's it's gonna be robust but the blade stock is not that thick I want to say it's like well let's don't want to say let's check it out <clears throat> and I believe they they call this blade style the uh, recurve tanto. 12.90 right there. 10 point, yeah, like, and you know, it gets wider. Let's check it out right here. 12.90 on the flipper tab. Um, and then like behind the edge. <laughs> 0.0275. It's, man, like it's, it's probably pretty slicey, you know. Um, yeah, it's and the, the weight on it, for anyone that's wanting to know, is like 6.92 ounces. So it's almost 7 ounces. Almost a 7 ounce knife. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel bad. You no. Know, in hand or anything. I, I, I don't, I'm not crazy about the pocket clip. It's, it's not because it's uncomfortable or anything. You know, I don't feel it in the hand. I think it should they should have gone with blue on the pocket clip, too. It, it, that would have been kind of cool. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it not being deep carry. It just... The the knife looks futuristic. And the the pocket and the clip pocket is clip. very simple. Yeah, the pocket clip looks like nineteen ninety seven. <laughs> but uh but but uh, I mean like overall I love this knife. Like I I wouldn't allow the pocket clip to 
No, and it's not a bad price. For no, <clears throat> no. One nineteen on Knife Center right now, like. And I've seen some posted on eBay, and I'm not sure if those are secondary or if they're uh, they, they were running sales or whatever. If, if like distributors on eBay were running sales, but I've seen them for like ninety nine. So, it, it's you know, a lot of knife. For, it is a whole lot of knife for ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you like to handle it or anything like? Uh, and it doesn't feel like it's seven. No, ounces. let's check it out. We'll we'll put it on our scale. Like it's it feels good. Sometimes retailers get those weights wrong. We'll check it out on our scale before we end the video. It's got a good four or thumb ramp too. Six point nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Six point nine. We didn't really do many size comparisons. No, we didn't. Oh, uh, let's let's throw some stuff up here. It don't. It doesn't sit. All that well. It's kind of like the the four max, you know. Like we'll have a video of the the Spartan coming up. Throw that up there as well. The Spartan Harsey folder. I'll back all these up to the nine inch line. Yeah. You'll see you're right there in that in that territory. And this is the oh five, five six, six two. two. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And I don't see a PM two right here. No. The Ontario Rat number one is is about the same size as the PM two. There's two two nine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Still in love with that knife, y'all. Like it just like it it's that's went from like what the hell am I gonna do with that thing to <laughs> that thing ain't going nowhere. Beautiful. But yeah, man, uh I I I gotta say like this is probably the only knife Kaiser's ever come out with that I I'm I've I've just been one hundred percent like in on. Yeah, you know, I like the uprising, don't get me wrong. And like RSK, like they were they were dealing with uh, some of the guys that that made Dean. Uh, I mean, uh, that that moved over to make um, concept knives. Uh, with you know, because he started dealing with Kaiser about yeah out. about three years ago. Uh, you know, as of the time of the recording of this video, to to produce this knife, and some of the guys that he was in works with uh, left and went to Kaiser. I mean, I'm sorry. Left Kaiser and went to Concept, so uh, so the you know the the project was delayed. And uh, uh, regardless, this knife is incredible. Yeah, you know I, I like it. And I, I was pleasantly surprised at how how comfortable it was to me being that that big of a knife. That blade is chunky mm -hmm. and, but it it doesn't feel huge. And we should have stated this earlier in the video, but they do make a full size Paragon. You know this. This is the mini, and they, you know, like they do make a full size Paragon, but it's not a Kaiser. You know, it's 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 RSK now or RSK, uh, a Paragon, and it, it's beautiful. You know, it looks just like this, but it'd be a titanium uh, frame lock knife, and it's around three thousand dollars, something Ooh. like that. And they don't he doesn't make many of them, so like don't quote me on the price, but like I've seen one somewhere for around that price, but um. It it doesn't seem like they're just readily available, and they're 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 about the ten and a half inch uh, knife, I believe. It was it was a little it was about a half inch bigger. I mean, I'm sorry, about a about two inches larger than than this knife, or an inch and a half larger than this knife. So it it, it definitely is a mini in comparison to Dude, it's the, the full size. Isn't? If you guys made it this far, sorry, the video is 14 minutes. <laughs> Hit the like button. Consider subscribing. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And thank you again to Mr. Ken Faulkner. His his uh, link can be found in our channel description or our, our uh, channel friends. We'll probably also go ahead and link his his uh, his link in the comments in the comments below or or in the the, the description. Yeah. So uh, you guys have a great one, and a penny saved is worth two in the bush. <laughs>